Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering the Prime Earth's Super Doom. He made his first appearance in Superman Doomed, issue number one, that was released in May of 2014. His real name was Kal-El, also known as Clark Kent, but he had taken on the characteristics of the infamous Doomsday, meaning that when he was fully transformed, he was about the same stature as Doomsday, standing about 8 feet 10 inches tall and weighing 915 pounds, having glowing red eyes and black hair that had a white streak down the middle. In addition to having sharp claws at the end of his fingers, as well as having long bony protrusions from his gray-skinned body. Now, being a combination of Superman and Doomsday, this unique being had virtually limitless strength. And it goes without saying that while he existed, he was very likely the physically strongest being in the DC Universe. This rare hybrid would have unlimited stamina, as well as near complete invulnerability. He would also possess superhuman speed, reflexes, and healing. And that's only if you were able to injure him. He'd also be able to absorb various types of energy, not only being self-sustaining due to him being able to absorb the radiation of yellow stars, but also from being able to absorb the very life energy of organic things around him. Which, by the way, would both make him even more powerful. Super Doom would also have extremely enhanced senses, as well as heat vision and flight. And I can't leave out his amazing ability to self-evolve, being able to adapt and counter anything that could possibly injure him. The only perceivable weakness that Super Doom had was the internal struggle between the personalities of Kal-El and Doomsday. Now, Super Doom has his origins in a subsequent arrival of Doomsday, who had escaped from the Phantom Zone. The story begins with the people of Smallville being inflicted by a strange force that leaves a big chunk of them in a coma. And without anyone's knowledge, Lois Lane had secretly been put under the mind control of Brainiac, which was used to help set up a conflict between Superman and Doomsday. After hearing the report of the re-emergence of Doomsday and that he had attacked a remote island, Superman confronted the powerful villain and discovered that his nemesis had developed a virus in his blood that would incinerate anything within 100 yards of him which in itself left Superman as one of the very few beings powerful enough to stand within close contact of him. Due to this, Superman faces him alone and lures him into outer space to avoid further collateral damage. Their epic battle would eventually land back in Smallville, where Superman would rip Doomsday in half, and he would inhale all of the toxins that were released from its body to prevent them from spreading around the world. But soon after this, Superman would learn that the toxins have altered his DNA and left him prone to uncharacteristically angry and violent outbursts. While coping with this infection, Superman would also learn that he could seemingly transform into a version of this doomsday, which would greatly increase his strength and powers. Yet this would also cause him to struggle with an uncontrollable berserker rage within himself. And due to the extensive plotting of Brainiac, it would come to be that Super Doom was exposed to kryptonite after the entire planet was clouded with it. The Doomsday half of Super Doom was relatively unaffected by this, but this would weaken the Superman half and cause his transformations to enhance. Superman would eventually discern that the entire plot was a scheme by Brainiac for revenge against the Man of Steel. With the Earth facing the major threat of Brainiac, Superman then allowed Super Doom to completely take control of his mind, seemingly erasing Kal-El's consciousness from the host body, but giving him the power to fight Brainiac's army. When Super Doom started to lay waste to Brainiac's defenses, the genius villain admitted that he gained the ability to rewrite reality by augmenting his powers through those he had complete mental control over, i.e. the citizens of Smallville that were still in a coma. His intent was to recreate his own world in the place of the Earth. And since while explaining this, Brainiac had restored Superman to a degree of his normal self, and Lois Lane had regained enough conscious control of herself to give Brainiac's gathered psionic power to Superman, Supes was then able to use this power to free everyone under Brainiac's control and permanently cure himself of the Doomsday Virus. Now, with Super Doom completely gone and Superman back to his normal self, he trapped himself and Brainiac in a black hole, which sends them both hurtling through the DC multiverse, but it saves the Earth. 
It would then take 60 days for Superman to get back to the Earth. And despite him being visibly shaken by the experience, he would quickly get his confidence back up and continue watching over the world. Now, due to his power and ability and his influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Super Doom a rating of 9, which is an epic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.